We are here, guys, at the final of all finals from the Netrunner Tournament at Aww. Worlds 2014. That over there is Robert. That's me. Hello, Robert. How are you, Steve? I am Steven. I'm, I'm doing really well because I'm here watching Dan and Min play the final game of this extensive tournament. Seven rounds of Swiss the day before. Cut to a top 16 double elimination. My goodness. Dan comes into this thing unscathed. The top 16, he is undefeated. Nope. Gets taken down by Min's. Oh, in the top 16, yes. Yeah, taken mm -hmm. down by Min's uh, personal evolution deck last game. It was now, a crazy game. Crazy game. Switching it over to Dan's Replicating Perfection, which up to this point in the tournament has not dropped a single game. Not once, not never. As far as I'm aware. And uh, a deck that Dan is supremely comfortable with. This deck list was out there, I think, months before, at least a month or a couple weeks before uh, Worlds Tournament. So no surprises here if you're paying attention. And uh, over to Min's Andy deck. Drawn his nine cards. No mulligans for either player. And... Uh, Min had a shot at this deck earlier and nearly, nearly took it down. Yeah. Uh, but just missed it. Just missed it. So he's, I think, eager to get another shot at it and also probably a little bit worried because it was so tight. And it was Dan tight. recovered, I think, 5-0, to zero, recovered and came back and won the game. Though I think the silver lining there was, I think it was ultimately uh, Min's uh, potential mistake, not yes. scoring an NAPD that cost him that game. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so he knows so he's got it. He yeah. could, he can do it if he wants to. Just got to not make mistakes, which is so much of this game. Yes. Especially in tournaments. All right, so Min grabbing credits, sure gamble, desperado, dirty laundry. Does he have anything better? Ooh, checking check the it. remote. I'm gonna trash. Uh, what do we got? That mental health clinic. That's correct. All right, well that's a pretty dang good turn. Great open for Andy, and of course most games are games of momentum. Mm -hmm. And uh, Andy's nine card setup really giving the momentum that a lot of players desire coming into turn two. Hoping they can push that advantage and criminal really the best set to do it with some of their tools that they get set up to immediately reap economical benefits throughout the early game. Like Desperado. Desperado, dirty laundry, security testing, still threatening remotes with inside job. Very good little package. And a hedge fund for Dan. Dan answers with a hedge fund. And you'll notice how Dan plays this deck a lot differently than a lot of people would think to play it, I think, if they just came into the game with a deck list that was replicating. It's slower. It's and there's the sneak door. Man. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah, this is Min's doing everything he needs to snipe some agendas here. Oh, on fire! Goodness. He's going to pay for it. He's learned that lesson. This looks just like last game. My goodness. Two clicks left. Gets an early two points. Mm -hmm. Is there more in there? If he snipes a Nisei out of hand, this game is looking great for Min. Yoink. Nope. And has the final sneak door gaining a credit. And see some ice. Okay. Looks like another NAPD was in hand there for Dan. But again, you know, NAPD is a, a tricksy thing. It does cost you a good chunk of cash, but that's going to be offset by the uh, resulting tempo swing. Yeah, so. yeah, and Desperado helps to leaven that out quite a bit. Mm-hmm, show does. Installing over archives. No more sneaking. Installing our remote and installing Sundu. It's going to cost him two to res. He immediately gets two back at the start of his turn, so nullified because there is no way that Ming can run on that server without first hitting a central, which means Sundu's happening. First click is HQ. Mm -hmm. And a lot of scary ice here. I'm surprised we got a face check without a fairy. Yeah. Kamainu's kind of a problem. Uh, Sarigi's a problem. Dan's got money for anything he wants. Low credits, but really nothing in hand to protect. The NAPD would get scored on four credits if he lets him in. Is it worth the risk? I'd say no, but we'll see what he does. Well, there's a Lotus Field, so nice. definitely not getting in. Yeah, yeah, that's tough. I think Dan kind of weighing the options of him stealing that NEPD or not. Uh, good questions. That really does set up like a passport and account siphon kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So. I'm sure that's why he didn't ultimately want to res it, but just really not wanting Min to get those two points. He's been on fire with his pulls yeah. out of HQ. And you just don't want to go to four and risk it on a future perfect steal. Yeah. It's too early for all that. Way too early. Dan just want to get set up here. Protects his economy with wraparound. And then going to hit R&D for the final click. Boom. Caprice trashes it. So I'm sorry, has one more here. I'm going to check R&D and mm. trashes. Another clinic. Nope, going to keep the mental health clinic, yeah. Those are hard choices to make. Yeah, I think that's the correct choice, though. 
the problem with that health clinic is once it gets on the board, it takes so many clicks to go over and now deal with it. Yeah. And it costs Dan one action, you know. Yeah. So do you pay three now or eat it? And the choice right now is eat it. Seems right to me. <clears throat> First is draw out of Dan. Survey says. Kind of fascinating to see so much ice. Yeah, no kidding. It's funny. It's like the new age corpse actually using ice again. And the do doing some work. Dan's doing the do. do the Only do. a sneak door and two points to men's name here. And the all-important seems permanent fixture of a criminal deck, Desperado. Desperado. I haven't seen a, a non-turn one Desperado in a while. I guess we had one game during the tournament where it wasn't around. But mm -hmm. really kind of the argument for Andy there. That card. That one card. Every time. Every game. Every criminal game. Is there... There's no other console to run. Ever. Nah, it's... You can try them. It's iconic. It's a classic. Even as a song dedicated to it. That's right. One of our favorites around here. Min taking a peek at all of his cards, counting out his clicks, not sure what to do. Bear in mind that this is the final, final match, so it is untimed. They this can take tilt. as long as they like. I heard a rumor... Uh -oh. During this match, that they were timed. What? I heard a rumor that the finals was timed. I refuse to believe that. I think yeah. it doesn't. It say in the the floor rules and I, tournament stuff that that's a no go. I don't I know. Could have swore. Could have swore. Look at that bank job, Min. A great little piece of tech that no one else was running that I could tell. Runs bank job, gets nine credits. Dang. Are you kidding me? That is a fortune. Just so good. Nets eight off that, and uh, it makes uh. just so much sense. It's both replicating and near Earth hub. It's true. Huge economy swing. Playing it correctly, See and a clinic. gives him the cash to pull off the clinic there. Maybe even wanting him to install the clinic with inside job in hand. Probably why he didn't trash it. That's a good point. That's a very good point. Dan, in the cards. Still only two credits to his name, looking pretty poor. Probably looking for a celebrity gift here. Something to pull him out. Anything would be nice. And Ooh. installs another remote. You got another bank job? Well, let's see it. Is he going to check it? I would like to see it checked, personally, for all of those. First the sneak home. door. Ooh, coming in again. Dan grabs his son, do money, and then uh, no we'll see. Triple stampy, no reverses. And prepare for access. Will he see the NAPD? And Dan's Oh, it is going rest, up. Nice. Rest, tobacco. That's a little barrier. It's going to keep him out for now. Really putting a lot of pressure on Min to hit that Corroder. That's right. And there he's going to do it. Special order. Getting that Corroder. Getting that Corroder. A lot of signals here that, that HQ does have some goods in it. Yes. I think you, you only mm -hmm. res that barrier on Archives if there's something worth having. So why not go back? Get what I need to Grand Entry. You saw the Corroder? And go maybe get He could what get I've that Sun denied. Dew as well. It wouldn't be it. Yeah. Oh, nice. going for the Dew. Not a bad option either at this point. Pay one for the wraparound, get one back for Desperado. That was his only economy. Trash it up. Yeah, I and mean, it's going to keep Dan in a bit of a ghetto of money here. Yeah, slumming Three around credits. here. Where's the gift? If he has the gift, this is great for Dan. That's Jackson. Jacko! Oh, Hedgy. He's got to build up, though. He's got to get a few more credits there. And drawing it. There's, there's the gift came into hand here, and I think that's what Dan was looking for. Yes, that will give him all kinds of cash. And Sauce Jackson draws two and draws two. Because knowing Dan, he'll probably show his entire hand. Oh, yeah. He doesn't care. It's the only way. You got to get seven out of that thing. And celebrity gift helping Jiteki so much with the money situation. Just a sweeps week really helps NBN do their thing as well. So mm -hmm. money free flowing for the corpse right now. Cash for days. First is archives. Checking it. And He's gonna pop Jacko. Running straight up. No sneak door here. Yes. Looks like Jacko is being activated. Yep. Yeah. Dan's got his jack face on there. And Mr. a do. Howard. And, ooh, go okay, for the cash. Run. Okay, quick Operation Cash. And then one face down is remaining. <laughs> he's deciding if he wants to access after the Jackson. And he does. And, and it's an Eli. And he does. Interesting, man. Trashing an Eli, always hard. That tells you about the caliber of cards in uh, Dan's hand right now. Yeah. He wants them all. Because that's a piece of ice that you always just want down. And then trashes the health clinic. So basically bankrupting himself to keep Dan out of the money. Yep. 
And then daily cast. So as we've seen, men liking to go to zero with daily cast plays. Yeah, he is not afraid to play that poor game. And unfortunately, this game is just not going to pay off for him because we know that Celebrity Gift is on the way. Yes. Yes. All right, Dan draws his mandatory card. First and second is Celebrity Gift. Two hedge funds, an Ash, an Eli, and a Sarigi. And that, that is that's a lot of cards back right in there. the money, Let and we can see you. a hedge fund <clears throat> immediately following, too. Why not? Probably because he doesn't need the money. <laughs> and goes to nine credits to do it. HQ enforced, protecting against that uh, account siphon. Long-term legwork account siphon shenanigans are kind of being shut down right now. Man drawing into a ton of cards, taking a turn to rebuild. And look at how slow the game seems to go. Thanks, Jinteki. Dan just slowing it right down here. Hasn't put any pressure on a remote. That's right. No agendas. Two credits to Min's name. And he has one action left. He could check with a sneak door here. That's true. Doesn't have the credits to steal NAPD. Probably not the greatest proposition. Yeah, I think he learned fairly well that... Uh on his first game with Dan, that if you don't have the credits to score the NEPD, you don't make that run. You don't make the run. And we all learned it on this day. Mm hmm If not before, Dan drawing a card for his first click. Looking at his options, sitting on nine credits. Has the economic advantage right now that allows him to flex his muscles a little bit. Men not really testing the ice too much. R&D and HQ locked down. Sneak door still open. And Dan's going to decide if he wants to keep that open. Yeah, he's going to mm. play the remote here instead. Build it up in a hedge. In a hedge fund. So he's getting things ready. This could signal a sneak door play, uh, given that he seems to be prepping that remote for an agenda that might well be in hand. Perhaps the NAPD itself. Who's to say? Uh, yeah, not a, not a bad option. Dan, just looking at... Uh, his ability to get points out. Mm -hmm. And just that, that quandary over the top of the remote, uh, I don't know if that's what he did, but it's just been so strong throughout this tournament. Quandaries and enigmas over there on remote servers against Andromeda. I've been doing some serious work. And I think there's Passport. And I think Dan knows that Min does not have uh, anything that I've seen as a remote code gate breaker. Breaks the uh, quandary there. And no Sentry Breaker still is going to faceplant right into Dang. this. Sarugi. And he's going to lose three cards. Dan has to pay one credit or the run ends. And then three net damage and an access coming to Min. And then he can access. If he's worried about Snare, he might not. I don't know how much these guys know about each other's decks at this point. You've seen each other play. You've heard, heard the rumor mill. Inside job. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. and he gets the mimic Man, again. Man, good cards everywhere. Why does this keep happening? Both Dan and Min losing their mimic early instead of installing. Yeah, that's a that's a difficult question to find an answer to. It's. I mean, when I'm planning against replicating, I don't run a thing until mimic comes it, out. Yeah, it's it's out pretty quick. And that may be too conservative, but man, especially if you're running a one of, get it on the table. I understand that. I understand that Mu is maybe. An issue. There and it is. Pulls the Paying NAPD for. on fire again. Not making that mistake again for men. And dang. Losing the Mimic but gaining two points. Was that a fair trade? I think he can't be terribly disappointed in it. Dan checking out archives. Men want to put the pressure on. He's doing Hasta a pronto. pretty decent job of it. Kind of keeping pace, but... We'll see how it keeps going here. Yeah, he just keeps taking those four credit hits. Now again at zero credits. Yeah. And I can't stress how important it is to lose a Mimic and there even that is. account siphon, really. In turns in the Sun due from Archives. Still That's has to pay two to res it, so he's not going to gain two there. Exactly what he needed. He needs some Econ. And uh, both players doing a little bit of credit calculation, making sure. And it's like, nah, everything's cool. He, everything was done correctly, yeah. Min gained the two for his daily cast, and I think we now have a double credit gain off that daily cast at the start of that turn. We just gained four at the start of that turn there, Robert. 
And that is a big mistake that it, both players it's and weird. Lucas they were all, missed, they were all right just there. talking about it. Yeah, everyone looking at Dan uh, getting two off Sundu, which he shouldn't have, and then goes over to Min, and he's able to get four off Daily Cast. I don't think it was intentional, uh, but man, that's a real, a real significant that's, thing. That's now, a thing, yeah, for NAPD sure. NAPD is now online, you know. Eli runs the Eli could click through it and then break the wrap around and trash the Sundu, which he probably is going to do. Yep. Yep. Keeping that Sundew Econ down because Dan is back again to two credits. That's true. This is a very tight Econ two game we're two. witnessing here. Just an excellent one. Four to zero. Dan still seems to be pulling ahead in the tempo race. Isn't that interesting how this deck yeah, works? Yeah, he's, he's getting established, but uh, he, he definitely needs to start seeing some points here. A Nisei score is really the death toll, or mm -hmm. the death knoll, I should say, for, uh, for the replicating build i mean once you score that the game is so hard to win as a run you've got to luck into future perfect at that point yeah which knowing what min's been pulling i mean he's been hitting those NEPDs he's super oddly hard, lucky and yeah. he's been playing the heck out of some side games so could easily get it done we also know he runs medium and we haven't seen it dropped yet that's true two mediums two mediums at least right. so gaining two credits for his turn and then hitting the sneak door on his final click yoink and sees the worst card. So good. The protocol there. Going to cost two clicks now to run. Sneak Door is going to bypass that, which will help. Another gift. And Celebrity Gift gains him seven credits and then plays the old current into his discard pile for whatever reason. And now <laughs> Oops. playing it out. All right, so now the game is really sludge. I mean, it is quicksand now. Yeah, Min's going to have trouble with that end play. Sneak Door helps. Um, but that remote now is just, it's three clicks away every time with an Eli on top. Whew. Really a disaster. And Minch is going to take a turn to build up a little bit here. Just imagine, Robert, for a second, I want you to... Can to close my eyes. In your heart of hearts, close your eyes and imagine that the Mimic is out right now. Oh my gosh. It's a whole different game. I mean, it's expensive, but at least R&D is threatened. I mean, yes. we know he has medium. We know he can now threaten that server. Mm -hmm. Has all three breakers out. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I think it's just worth underscoring that if you're running a deck that runs one copy of that card, you're probably running one for a reason, and that it's, it's a really good play if you get it. <laughs> it's actually really designed specifically, yeah. I would say, for this matchup for Surugi and Kamainu's. So if you see it, consider playing it. I mean, that's the, and that's really anyone who's going to defend replicating. Okay, and Dan has a Ooh. draw, install, install. install. That remote is looking juicy. Wow, yeah. But I don't even know how men could ever get to the bottom of it right I think now. that's just an upgrade at this point. I mean, it could be. Anything anything not installed from uh, from this deck from replicating is just not an agenda. Uh, gaining two credits here. He's not getting it this turn. I mean, Mimic, talking about Mimic, it is the answer to a lot of these replicating eyes. Parasite's really the answer, but it at least gets you through. But you would still make the argument that it still just costs too much to do consistently, so maybe it's not not even that big of a deal. But yeah, I like at least having the threat, you know? Jackson. Jackson's going to not be trash. No trashy. Tough choices, man. Yeah, I know. When you're that poor, it's hard to say yes. It's like another NAPD in, uh, the in there. Exactly. Exactly and it's right. going to come out oh, there man. and twice. Oh, man. So pressure's on. Scores are, are starting to happen. Min has got to get his last three points really quickly. Yes. Only has two breakers. One of them only good for the uh, centrals. Once you get that powerful remote up, it's uh, it's time to start scoring them. Yeah, this is where Replicating just starts chaining those agendas out. Mm -hmm. Leaving the Baco open, probably asking Min to come in and waste clicks on a sneak door. Exactly. I don't think he has any real economic click or credit otherwise shot of getting into that server this turn. Yeah, nope. certainly not now. All right, going to sure gamble. So gaining a lot of cash here. Has it, having to spend a lot of time to build, and we see kind of the early impactful uh, nature of those NAPDs. Just scoring them, and yeah, it feels good to get two, but man, it just kind of compounds. Yep. Third is just a straight-up normal HQ run. Which is quite interesting. Yep. Rather than sneak dooring, and it cost him two credits because of that uh, login protocol. Mm hmm. And maybe just hoping Jackson to get that again. top ice res, but you know, Dan, smarter than that. 
And there's two <clears> actions <throat> gone. Min not realizing yep. that it was going to take two actions Forgot there. about it there. That's a uh, that's something that really will cost you. I wonder why he went uh, why he went HQ Directly? proper instead yeah. of sneak door. Sneak door would only cost him one click, and then he could have got over to the remote. That's wild. Mm -hmm. I think that's a pretty big mistake on Min's part there. I agree. And Sundew comes up for Dan. Install the NAPD out, put the Sundew in, get a few uh, turns of economy, and then I imagine that we're going to see his first Nisei once he draws it back down into that remote, or even a future perfect at this point. Min needs three points to seal this game. Can he get them off of R&D? Could he just... Pay a credit, take three net damage, and keep getting accesses like that. I mean, it's something to consider. That's true. Once medium comes out, that server gets a lot less stable. But where does it go? Where indeed? I mean, eventually he's going to have to install some kind of breaker, I think. Oh, man. And another Jackson. Yeah, just If you had trashed trash that days ago. I mean, it's hard, yeah. you know? And, and, it is and, hard. And I'm just tired of it. Tired of seeing that Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. And certainly you just, you just don't want that Jackson to go down on the table. Yeah. It just accelerates Dan's agenda wins. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, Min is behind, I think. He doesn't want that Jackson played out, drawn cards, Dan sees his agenda, and then it's, boom, down and scored. Yeah, and once it's down, Min is just going to have the worst time trying to get at it. All you can do is flail around yep. uh, against this replicating deck. And so now he's checking out Cerebral. Obviously not as familiar with that card as a lot of the uh, hardened... It's fairly replicating new. veterans, right? Yeah, fairly new, um, and kind of quickly became a staple in the new wave of replicating decks, uh, which hadn't really. We didn't have a good period of competition really between that card releasing and mm. Hidden Worlds. Kind of the end of regional season, everything was winding down, so a lot of players maybe not seeing it if they're just looking for basic replicating lists. But certainly, I mean, just the right choice. It's incredible in this deck. Yeah, great synergy here. Min still looking at his options now. Uh, ooh, thinking about playing here. It could be three. Yep, yeah, there's ooh. a fairy. I will not talk about mimic anymore, Robert. But I'm just saying. Just saying, guys. <laughs> not going to talk about it anymore. But it's a tough call. I kind of will, just a bit. So what does he do? Does he check <clears throat> R and D once here? He no, he's going credits. for cash. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he could check, but where's where's he going with that? Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just don't know. Dan now really just looking for cards. He's just looking <clears throat> for an agenda. Going to check the uh, the heap here. The heapy heap. Check the discard pile of min. See what he's lost. See what breakers he might have left in the deck. See how many account sidemen he has left. See a feedback filter in there for that uh, cerebral. Also tech. spying a mimic. Yeah. Have we mentioned that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Robert. <laughs> uh, Min, obviously, having some tech against personal evolution with that filter, that's pretty fascinating. I think he thought it would be a much bigger deck here at Worlds. But the American meta not really taking to it as much, for whatever reason. Those Americans. Can't trust them. They like to play the more straightforward things. That's why NEH was just kind of wide open. Mm -hmm. Different minds, different brains, different cultures even approaching this game differently. I think that's so fascinating. That's why it's Worlds, baby. All right, Dan installs another piece of ice over HQ. Uh, worried about legwork, worried about siphon. Definitely doesn't want to get siphoned here. Yeah, th this would be the worst time for that. So I think that, that third rung of ice is definitely going to prevent that. Min, counting credits. It also signals to me that that middle piece of ice is probably a sentry. Mm -hmm. uh, now that Fairy can deal with it, it's probably a Kamainu. Uh, or it's Kamainu or a Sarugi. One, one of the two. Uh, Dan basically saying, well, if he can break the, the fairy on the siphon there, he's got all the breakers he needs to siphon me. I want to get a third layer of ice to prevent that from happening. Don't want to give Min the economic swing that that card provides. And it just keeps on providing, honestly. And Min really having to calculate here. He, he really, what his best course here is... Find future perfect, win the side game. Yeah. I think that's what he's got. I think you're right. And still considering full up on MU right now. Five max is taken up. And there's a medium gonna have to Ooh. install and installs over Sneak Door. Interesting choice. Quite interesting. You know, installing <clears throat> over Sneak Door really opens up Dan's ability to draw through a turn mm -hmm. and not worry about the HQ access. 
And we're just going to get one counter medium. I don't even see two runs happening here. Yeah. Obviously, it's the gonna be a uh, slow build up here. protocol having an issue. Paying one and then chucking the fairy or cards. But he, if he can just score one, his situation improves dramatically. Drawing with John Mass and seeing a card. So oh. at least that's going to start to put some R&D pressure on Dane. He's going to have to seal that hole up or just win before it matters. That's right. Well, there he goes. Whoa, sealing it up in a hedge fund. And install for two, hedge fund, and I think a credit on top of that. Gained some money for Sundew and has no cards in hand. <laughs> None. But he also has about 0% chance of being flatlined. That's true. So That's true. Dan's chance of being flatlined are very low. <laughs> Much less than the game before, certainly. <laughs> and pretty wild here. So Min, sacrificing the sneak door... Has a one-off fairy. Must have another fairy in hand. Mm -hmm. If only a permanent century breaker was. I don't know what it would be. I can't. I can't even imagine Robert. But this is looking great for Dan. He has. If, if we're Super looking strong for, servers. We know the only thing left in this Good deck economy. is three future perfects and three Nisei Mark Twos. Uh, Min has got to score two Nisei's or one future Pass. perfect. And there's David Cast. So he's seeding tempo here to Dan. He and, very much is. And that's fine. I think he wants to really build up and try to cane R&D a few times for a big medium run. But he can't afford that. Can't afford it yet. So he's going to play his cast. And then what I think he probably wants to do is is play out a fairy mm -hmm. or two and just get money, money, money. But the longer, the longer this happens uh, with Dan's economy, uh, it's going to be just resoundingly more difficult. Yeah, this is where Dan just draws through. Mm -hmm. He's There's no HQ threat whatsoever. Yeah. And there's Ooh, the Nisei. Nisei. Hit it. Watch out. That's a big card. If Dan scores that, he doesn't I don't want know to install it. Yeah, he does not have the chance. clicks to do it. He has one click. He is going to install it. Nice. And try to advance it. That's See, four I, clicks. It's, it's super safe. That's four clicks. Oh, man. Yeah, it is. You can't Shoo. do that. Big All mistake. right, so realizing that's a problem, so what's Take back Lucas the says, pull it back. Uh, and it looks like we pull back everything. That's an interesting uh, thing there. That's so interesting to me. Um, it's debatable. I, I don't know if that's a really really clean or fair, but I think it's worth acknowledging oh, at least. I think it's wrong. I, I mean, honestly, that's wrong. He, yeah. he should just pull the advancement off. Yeah, I agree. I think that's the... Like, oh, you spent one click too many, you don't get to take back your whole turn. I think if you look, and I mean, we get it, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't ever install in the ESA without advancing it. Sure. But look at Min, like, he can't be like, oh, I didn't realize it cost two clicks to make that run. Exactly. I guess I'll just go back. Exactly, yeah. You you overspent a click, you didn't have it, but everything else up until that point was legal. So yeah. you go back to that last point. And I, will it make a difference? I mean, I don't think so. I think that is super safe in the remote anyway. Sure, sure. Yeah. So... But, like, Lucas is ruling there, and that was, you can't really default, I mean, Dan asked what to do, and Lucas said he could take it take it all the way back, so. Yeah. That, that's just a question mark we have to deal with here as, as players without floor rules yet. This is kind of yep. what happens. Mm -hmm. But FFG aware, and uh, hopefully they'll get that sorted real quick. We know a judge program is on the way, so that will certainly help. I'm sure, both in and out of house, because we can all benefit, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Now, the real question you got to ask is, so Min knows that's an agenda then. He tried Correct. to advance it. He knows Correct. he's got an agenda in his hand. Uh, so what happens now? How Does can he attack try HQ? to get there? Yeah. I bet he wishes he had Sneak Door <clears throat> right now. Yeah. Whew. Can just, you imagine? Just saying, Robert. <laughs> just saying. Sneak Door and or Mimic. Oh, my goodness. What? It's a leg work. That's ah! exactly what you do. Ah! Gains money and goes in to, to steal the... He knows the agenda's there. Yep. So at this point, this is interesting because the rollback... There's blood in the water. The rollback definitely affected men's decisions here. Mm-hmm. Hits a Kamainu, has no Sentry Breaker. Number one rule against Republican, you cannot continue here with zero cards. If that's a Surugi, you lose. If yep. it's a... Any kind of... That is a Surugi. Oh, my goodness. And Min has flatlined himself in pursuit of the Nisei. Can't really blame him, honestly, yeah. because if he scores that Nisei, then Dan is slowed down significantly. But what a bizarre finish yeah. to the final. Wow. Man. I wish it had been clean, I'll yeah. be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a little wonky there, but what, what a game nonetheless. So four clicks. Dan installs the Nisei. Too many clicks. Lucas says, <laughs> roll it back. Dan rolls it all the way back, holds the Nisei in hand. Min leg works to get the Nisei out of hand and then flatlines himself on a Komainu Surugi server. Yeah. 
Pretty wild game, guys. There you have it. Final match, Worlds 2014. Worlds Net 2014 runner. comes to a thundering close. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to everyone who was at Worlds. I got to, uh, uh, we got to hang out with and meet. Thank you so much for coming up and it's introducing wonderful yourselves. Time, yeah. And uh, I'm happy to, to see everyone in this network community. Awesome people. Let's keep it up. Let's keep growing this thing. Keep it positive. And uh, thank you guys for watching. We're Team Covenant. We'll see more of Netrunner in the near future, I'm sure. Yeah. Take care, Robert. Take care, Stephen, and take care all.